Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your display settings on your Xbox Series X and S. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and go to your home dashboard here. Make sure you're logged in. Go to the settings icon here or the settings tab. Uh, if you want to know how to get there, you can basically just hit the Xbox button there and then you can basically scroll down and go to settings or you can get there directly from your home dashboard. And then you're going to want to go to general and then tab over to where you see TV and display options. Now, uh, due to my capture card as I'm recording this video, it's not going to show the actual uh, option here to change the refresh rate for my display. Uh, but you can see here, you can change the resolution here. And I'm going to be recording an additional clip that I'm going to be showing you now that will be showing you that you could actually change the refresh rate for your display here directly under the resolution option here from 60 to 120 or whatever the refresh rate that your monitor provides. Now, remember, if you're not too tech savvy, you may need to get on Google. Make sure you understand what the resolution of your display is. Uh, some people uh, have displays that they think are 4K, but they're really not. They're just half the resolution. And so, yeah, you can PC game on that monitor or that display uh, in what, you know, so-called 4K or 1440p resolution. That's not 4K, right? So make sure you know what resolution your monitor is. And then also, if I go under setup here and then go to 4K TV details, you can see it lets me know everything about uh, this current TV and what it can do with the Series X or S. You know, TV resolution, the playing games, the watching movies and TV. It'll let you know if your TV supports a specific refresh rate or resolution here directly from within the TV details option. So that's again how you change your display settings within the Xbox Series X and S. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments section down below. I'll get to those as soon as I possibly can. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great tech tutorials just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.